Hello! Today I'll take you on an adventure so you see what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I work in oil exploration. We search for oil and gas anywhere there is water and oil prospects. I travel a lot in my job and today I'll be traveling from Spain where I live via Frankfurt, Oslo to Tromsø in northern Norway. I'll be working offshore about here for the next month and that journey starts right now. It's 7 a.m. on a Monday and I am in the lobby waiting for my taxi. I'll take a taxi to the bus station, take a bus to Madrid and start several plane journeys from there. Here comes my taxi. I'm in the bus now and it's a three hour journey from where I live to Madrid. And I'll be reading this book, this very good book, during the journey. I'm now in Madrid in a taxi on my way to the airport. Finally, after some delays, we are taking off. And after several takeoffs and landings, I am finally in Tromsø. And it's snowing polar bears and reindeers. I predict that crew change by helicopter will not happen. It can't happen in this weather, no way. Hey guys, so this is the morning after. I planned to document my arrival to the hotel room last night, but I was knackered. I came in here past 10 and the, the hotel restaurant was closed. So I had to go to a pizza place around here to buy some takeaway pizza. Came in here, finished eating it and crashed. <laughs> yeah, this morning I am I'm rested, fully rested. I had breakfast. The plan was for Ross, I and my colleagues, to fly offshore early this morning by helicopter, but because of all that snow, uh, it's just serious bad weather. It's not favorable for helicopter operations. So we are spending another night in this hotel. So we'll be leaving tomorrow. We don't know when tomorrow. And we hear that the vessel is now coming in because the weather will not be fine till about Friday or something. So the, the guys offshore need to go home and we need to take over from them. So the vessel is coming to port. So we'll be joining the vessel in port tomorrow. That's it. We've got a whole day to do whatever we want to do. <laughs> we can't really do much because it's snowing. As well, I think it's still snowing outside. So, let me show you my hotel room. The bathroom, so the shower head, toilet. My bag here. That's my laptop. I'm scheduling some videos for you guys to watch you know when when i on the vessel when i'm on the vessel i don't have access to youtube so i'm gonna shadow some videos to go out while i'm offshore that's the tv i don't watch tv so i don't think i'll ever switch that one on and that's my big pizza and i didn't even finish it yeah that's my bag that's my bed I've got two small beds and yeah I tried to read this last night. I showed you this book before. Very interesting book. Anybody that wants to know how Nigerian politics is run, this book is good for you. Yeah, you just you need to know what's going on in Asurok. This is a very good book. Yeah, that's it. That's all about it. It's just a, a decent room, just for one day or so. So, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to the shop downstairs to the lobby to have a chat with my colleagues. I just had lunch and I'm walking around. Let me show you where I'm at. So this is the 
this is just outside my hotel. See that long bridge. Ooh. These long bridges are quite common in Norway. Because Norway is made up of all these tiny little islands. So they always have bridges connecting the islands. And you have to build it that high so that ships can pass underneath them. Big ships. See that mountain? Ooh. Everywhere is covered in snow. I've just been informed that the bus is here to take us to the vessel. When we get there, I'll try to get a clip for you to show you the big, it's a massive vessel. But if I can't do that, because I don't know what to expect when we get there, if I can't do that, I'll do it some other time. Or I'll put some pictures. See you. Bye. That's the big ship. Our home for the next few weeks. I'm on the vessel now. Here is my room. We call it a cabin. Our rooms are professionally cleaned and laid out like in hotels by some very nice guys. Yeah. It's quite small, but it's got everything you need. A bed, of course. A table for your laptop. A TV connected to a media server. And here's the view from my pothole. When we sail, I will only see open seas when I look out. Attention everyone, I'm now taking a bunker. A bathroom. Out at sea, we have calm days when you don't even realize that the vessel is moving. By the way, that's our small boat coming back from running an errand to that vessel over there. And then we have rough days when the vessel moves so much that one can get seasick. Sometimes it's so bad it feels like you're in a washing machine. <laughs> Out here, work goes on 247. Nothing like a day off, nothing like a weekend. Once here, we work Wednesday to Wednesday till we go home. We do 12 hour shifts. Some people work from 12 midnight to 12 noon and others work on the opposite shift. The top dogs officially work 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. They're down call 24 hours a day. Each project starts with us deploying our in-sea equipment. We put so much equipment into the sea that it takes up to 48 hours to fully deploy them. And that's if everything goes according to plan. In the process, we test each equipment to make sure it is in perfect condition before we deploy it. We work and work till we finish or till bad weather comes in. You can see that the weather is picking up. Let me show you how water comes into one of our decks during high seas. Once we finish deploying the gear, we mostly sit in this room and monitor the data coming in. We keep an eye on what is going on at sea via these screens. So when something goes wrong, we know from the displays. Yeah. Sometimes we do small jobs here and there as part of the main project. Watch I and my colleague do a small job and okay, pay well, attention to team. how we have fun with it. Take one. I and Mark, we're going to save the world. For that day. <laughs> Essential work. Cable maintenance. Uh huh. <laughs> His last special assignment before he goes on holiday to Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. Got a month in the hot sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but pina coladas and, uh, and ladies. And the brown city. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
So what what's today's work going to involve, Flo? It's um, we are going to tidy up our mess from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we have to stop work yesterday? Because... Yeah, we went on a walk boat, yeah? Work boat exercise. Yeah. You went from ship rounds. I have to wear my... Gangster hat. <laughs> Forget on the back deck. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we go out with the small boat to change some bad equipment at sea. Yeah, there is. <laughs> you, <laughs> sail, ball, and you, and me. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? You're going to save the world, Alex. Our vessel is touring these yellow babies and today we will be changing something just ahead of one of them. All done now and we are going home, I mean our home at sea, that home up there. So apart from work, how do we enjoy our stay here? There's good food here. Our chef is great. Everywhere you look, there's something to eat. If you're not careful, you'll put on so much weight when you're out here. Lots of cakes. Lots of cakes. <laughs> oh my god. Heart attack. I'm just showing all the things you feed us with here. Unfortunately, there's no Nigerian food, but for each meal, there are several options, so I always find something I like. But from time to time, I just want to swallow better semolina with ora soup. <laughs> but that's the last food you will see here. Hmm. Let me take you to lunch with me. This is my hood. I go up two decks and I am in the dining room. Good. And what are you having? 
Alex. Not, not <laughs> Alex is not awake. I'm never awake. We have lots of facilities on this boat. We have satellite internet connection, even though it is so slow, and YouTube is blocked. We can call home anytime we want. We have entertainment gadgets. There's always something for everyone. There's a swimming pool. You won't find one on every boat though. There's a sauna, a gym. You can take a walk outside on the heli deck. When working in the tropics, we play hockey, basketball, and have barbecues out here. Yes, here, anything possible to make you feel at home is provided. So you can be in the right state of mind to do your job well. We don't have, the only thing we don't have here is beer. You can drink beer out here because this is a work environment. So this is how we live our life out here. Work, eat, play, sleep and repeat the cycle till it's time to go home. And talking about going home, today is crew change. We've been here for five long weeks and finally we're going home today. Yay! We take the helicopter to the nearest city from here, then fly home. I have four flights and one overnight stay in Oslo before I get home. Then I'll take a long break at home before I come back offshore. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best job in the world because you can live anywhere in the world and do this job. If you get enough experience, you can work when you want, like I'm doing now. You can work where you want, you can pick which company you work for, and so on. If you need some information about how to get this kind of job, hit me up in the comments and I'll give you the info you need. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye, see you soon. <laughs> Guys like me can enter inside. I held up my suit when I first got it. Extra, extra small.